I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father, we thank you for another day, Lord. We ask that you be with this meeting, Lord. Help us make wide decisions for the taxpayers of our community. We ask that you be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Is the recorder on? All right. Scott County Council meeting September 20th, 2022, 9.30 a.m., 6 present. Diane is absent. Uh, is there any business that needs to come before us? We won't talk about it today if it's not on the agenda, but you can note it. I'm sorry, I want to say something about this. Okay. So I came to you today to talk about ARP money. I know right now the mentality of the council is to hold on to it and not spend any of it until we know what next year is going to bring. So I know that's the mentality currently. What I'm asking, and I'm challenging you guys, I know you guys already have enough challenges, right, with budgets and everything else, is to try to look at some scenarios and say how money could be released or couldn't be released. So, meaning if 2023 comes and you get a budget and you were thin budget and you have no problems, you'll release $100,000 of ARP money or $200,000. I'm just trying to get to the point where some of the nonprofits that are asking for money have some means of getting it and we're not out to 2025 racing to give out $4.7 million to anybody that has their hand out. I just wanna make sure everything's well thought out and metrics based and numbers driven. So I hope that's not a, it's not a small request, but it is a request from you guys. All right, well that is in the plan. It has to be, everything is already in a list because we already had people give Resum or not resumes, but applications, the different people. And then we went through, so we have our list going. The commissioners have a list. We kind of have a list. We got together. We did a little idea spawning type thing to see where the money would go. But you're right. Most of us are wanting to hang on to it just to make sure next year looks all right. Uh, anybody else? Do you have something? Did you want to say something? Evidently. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. On to the business. 2023 proposed budget public hearing. The proposed budget is has been sent. Uh, it's a notice and hereby given to taxpayers of Scott County, Indiana, that the proper officers of Scott County will conduct a public hearing on the year 2023 budget. Following this meeting, any 10 or more taxpayers may object to a budget, tax rate, or tax levy by filing an objection petition with the proper officers of Scott County not more than seven days after the hearing. The objection petition must identify the provisions of the budget, tax rate, tax levy, to which taxpayers object. If a petition is filed, Scott County shall adopt with the budget a finding concerning the op objections and the petition and testimony presented. Following the <clears throat> aforementioned hearing the proper officers of scott county will meet to adopt the following budget so our 2023 budget has been proposed thank you teresa mm -hmm. anybody have any questions about that superior court transfer request Is she not down here? Uh, no. I'll speak to it. She's got several requests. Um, $500 from postage, $1,200 from jurors mills, uh, $1,972.14 from pauper attorney, $500 from travel, $1,102.36 <coughs> from equipment repair to be transferred into transcripts. And then there's several, there's, you've got two letters there, several more. <laughs> 1000 from interpreters to proper attorneys, uh, 615.50 from printing and advertising to proper attorney, 600 from interpreters to transcripts, $48 from travel to transcripts, 1397.64 from equipment repair to law books, 1500 from office supplies to law books. 
536.88 from contractual services to law books. $504.70 from travel to law books. $1,777.26 from jurors per diem to law books. Can we do these all at once? Yes. All right, do I have a motion to accept? Well, I, 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 I got a question. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure Mark has a judge that to check this out. Uh, and uh, uh, Teresa, have you? Well, I've, I've ran. The, the reason I, the, 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 the uh, thought I bring up is on the first page, uh, we have uh, uh, $1,972.14 from pauper attorneys. Mm -hmm. On the next page, we have $615.50 into pauper attorneys. Is, is that a, a misprint or is that okay or no? Uh, she Am may I, have done one before the other. So, because so she's, she's taken multiple out of <coughs> no travel. Right. And then she took travel yeah. out of. I'll, I'll go through these. If you'll approve them, I'll go through those and balance them out. I have not done those. But I would say she did one letter first and then did the other one after the fact. So we'll, we'll balance that out. You'll balance it. You're okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Move to approve this presented. I'll second. All right, add motion to approve <laughs> Teresa. Balance out the transfers and decide what needs to be transferred. <laughs> yeah. As stated. I got a question. Is the Teresa for clarification? It's it's uh, transcript transcripts and law books mm -hmm. and so. What does that mean? Well, uh, some of it's law books. It looks like pauper attorney, but the bulk of it is law books and trains. Yeah. Well, I mean, are they, are. Yeah, I mean, are, there, are, we, are we buying them? Are we redoing them? Are we adding to them? Or having somebody look at them? The judge will have to answer. I, I don't. She doesn't okay. have any it's, it's her money. She's just moving it from one account to the other. So yeah. it's well, I agree with that. It's, Law books. They're like the dictionary in high school. You had to buy a new one every year because they changed. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's like the right? Yeah. Okay, I have a motion and a second. All in favor? All right, 6 0. -oh. All right, we have clerk's office. Cash change fund increase. Good morning, Miss Michelle. Good morning. So I literally am just asking for a hundred dollars to go into our cash drawers, fifty for each, one for fifty for superior, fifty for circuit, so that when we make change in the mornings we have enough. Um, a lot of times people will come in and pay a bond or fees and we cannot make change for them. So I'm just asking to increase that. Make a motion. Lindy motioned. Do I have a second? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to get that? Get your pocket book. Okay, well, I'll move to prove that. <laughs> so you want to be second? Yeah. <laughs> second. All right, all in favor? 6 0. Okay, Anything it. else? Nope, that's it. All right, thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Do you have a question? No. no. That was a proof. <laughs> <laughs> we usually don't get that good of a deal. All right, Assessor? <clears throat> Miss Diane, good morning. Hello. You want to start out? I guess. 
<laughs> my assessment program that I put all of my assessment in to do this assessment is dying slowly. And um, I need a new program. I didn't have it in my budget this year. I don't have it in my budget next year. So the council or the commissioners agreed to take money out of the ARPA fund and pay two years installments. And then I would put it in my budget to pay the last three years installment of this program. Uh, on page seven of the pamphlet, you can you'll see the prices. I think we're at one hundred eighty thousand dollars total. And like Diana said, five years broke down, and said we do you do the last three years. Right, I'm gonna do the last three. So we're just requesting the first two. And is the, is the program out of date? It's the company that we're using now, we've used it for 20 years, and they have gotten so big that they're not servicing like they should. So it's hard for us to get an answer if we have a problem. This company is only in Indiana, they've got 72 counties. So they're, yep. yeah. Everyone's switching to them, so I think it's time for us to probably follow the trend there so so the commissioners approved two months so sixty four thousand is what they approved the first two years I think so like seventy something about seventy two seventy two yeah. yeah. okay. thirty six a year so they'll do the first two years and I'll do this other four. Thirty-six or thirty-two. What was it? Hundred eighty divided by five is. Uh, thirty-six. Uh, so it's thirty-six a year, and they're going to do two years, so it's seventy-two. Okay. What's left in that fund right now? What are you paying a year now? Uh, if we switch this company and maintenance contracts, we'll save eight thousand a year. You'll save eight thousand. Yeah. What's the <clears throat> timeline on this? You need it right now. Best thing is to move because they're still having other counties boarding on right now. So if we get into the queue, we'll get moving quicker. And starting January first is our assessment date. So January through July, we're the busiest. We you know, yeah. we have everything <clears throat> coming due at that point in time. So it's easier to get done before. <coughs> Can, year. Do you still have anything in your assessor's line? I've got other things in there, but it's not much. Not much anymore. Mm -hmm. Teresa has gotten my tax levy a couple of years in a row, so I don't have as much funds as yeah. I then didn't plan on having. I'll also provide the hardware and software and everything to get the server built up for the for this uh, software also, so that's already locked in. So just to be clear, how much money are we talking about? 72,000. 72, mm -hmm. I'm sorry? 72,000 right now. Okay, and, and it's coming. And then she'll budget first. the next three years. Okay, and it's coming from? Art. And going to? Assessors. Assessors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's one of these there. Yeah. It's really good software. They actually came down and demoed it. And all the, the assessor's office really liked it. So if it's going to save eight thousand. I mean, it's a no brainer. Yeah, I mean, there's your initial upfront cost, but I mean, so. like I said, we've used this one for twenty years. So. And and it's it's okay. But what's bad is they're a big company, but their assessment side. Well, I mean. This company's got 70, I think 73 counties now. So the remaining counties have what we have and they're starting to kind of like not care. Support's not there anymore. You really can't call and say we have a problem. It takes weeks and weeks, if not months. Yeah. We've had months since away situation. So it's kind of, okay. The cash balance after you've got Still yet some things to be expended. 
your cash balance after that's expended two million six seventy one five hundred and twenty point two nine two million six seventy one five two zero point two nine after what's been budgeted has been expended. That's out of our four. That's out of it's going fast. So this is gonna be seventy two thousand. One time. Yes. And that, that's it. That's it. And then and then she's I taking it over after year two. Yeah. The assessors yeah. the okay. assessors are taking it over after year two. Okay. I'm gonna go through. These folks have always done good work for us. I'm going to trust you in this situation. I second. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lindy motioned. Raymond second. All in favor of moving the 72000 to assessors <laughs> from the ARP fund. You can raise your hand, Raymond. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ab, you're good, right? Yes. All in? Yeah. Are you in? I only got Six two of and two of them were busy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Children's Advocacy Center, Art Fund Additional Appropriation Request. Today, a state representative, but a volunteer for a Children's Advocacy Center to member of the board of directors. Yep. We were here to come back and meet with you guys again about um, the funds that are needed for Jefferson County's um, office to maintain that. There was a request in for $25,000. Circling back um, to see if we can discuss that a little bit more today um, in light of some things that have gone on in the community in the last couple weeks that have brought us back um, in great concern of the prevention program that would be in your schools and also um, so that we can be um, available for um, the prosecutor's office and um, the community when needed for small children. I, I moved to approve the 25000 I think it's the least we can do. Um, I think it's needed to aid our sheriff's department, <coughs> our detectives, and our prosecutor. Um, I think it's absolutely essential that we have this site available. So. Can I speak? Sure. Uh, if I may. <clears throat> uh, just so you guys know how important this is, uh, there are some other uh, child adv advocacy centers uh, in the southern counties. Um, I've talked to the detectives and to DCS. Uh, regarding this and the, the adv advocacy centers down there when we go to use them is oftentimes a two to three to four week wait before we can get the kids in for an interview. We had a case here recently uh, with our sheriff's department. It was a pretty bad case and we're a they're able to get these kids in for these interviews. The one in Madison is within days, like sometimes the day, sometimes a day, sometimes two days. But it is, uh, it's huge in getting the evidence that we need to prosecute these crimes for people who are harming children uh, to get it quickly before other people can get in. It's also very big. I know sometimes I've had some conversations with some of you and it's some people think, well, there's detectives uh, with the departments who can do this. But it's a completely different type of interview when you're talking about small child victims. I actually coincidentally just watched a CAC interview yesterday involving a recent case that we had. And that child during this interview was talking about their secrets and you know not uh, telling their secrets and because of the cops uh, and these secrets get told to these interviewers in these uh, CAC interviews because they're not police officers and they're told in a way when you're prosecuting a sex crimes case oftentimes one of the biggest defenses 
is the leading or coaching of witnesses by that detective or person interviewing uh, the victim. And that's what these CAC <clears throat> interviews do. These people are trained to not lead, to ask questions in a certain way that oftentimes are a lot different than how police detectives ask questions to adults. And so uh, it oftentimes just cuts at the knees of the defenses that will be used in these kind of cases. So having this center is, is very instrumental to us in being able to hold people who harm children accountable, and especially being able to get these interviews in quickly. And that's what this Madison office allows us to do. It allows us to get these kids in for very quick interviews before other things intervene uh, that can maybe get them to change their stories. So I, I ask that if you, if you can, uh, you can find a way to support this. It is very instrumental to, uh, to the prosecution of sex crimes perpetrators, especially in this community. Where, where, where's the money coming from? Our, our, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know that we're I know that we're kind of watching what we're spending on our uh, <clears throat> our children are our future, and uh, we need to protect them and hold those accountable who wish to harm them, and uh, we, we need to do this. I think in the past we've taken advantage of this service with at little or no cost to the county, and uh, I feel it's time for us to give back a little. Uh, therefore, I'm uh, in favor of this, and uh, I'll put that in the form of a motion that. Uh, it's done. Any motion? Oh, you can second. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll second that. Yeah, and I I feel that um, we do so much for different programs, and I think that uh, that we can support the children. That's the way I feel. Is there anything that we can do to aid? Jacqueline and the Sheriff's Department, because they do a wonderful job anyways, but sometimes it just takes a little bit extra, a different way to ask things, a different environment, to make sure that these people are held accountable and that the children do feel safe. So. Could I ask? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Um, the Children's Advocacy Center's goal is to also be into your schools. They have a program that's called Am I Safe? They teach the children how to identify when something's happening to them that's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. And then they teach them how to let somebody know, like a teacher or, or someone they can confide in, so that maybe we can get this stuff stopped before it ever gets really started. And so I, I think not only do we have to have it available for the prosecutor and the, and the sheriff and the state police <coughs> to do these investigations, but we need to also think about the preventative uh, on the front end, and maybe we can stop this before a child's life is destroyed. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Five. Opposed? Five one. Can I ask a question? Eric, why do you close? It's just a financial issue. We're not, you know, we, there's, there's all kinds of you know, great agencies doing great work and uh, we we need to get our we need to get our finances in order we're, we're deeply in trouble on the budget and uh, we, we need to get that in, in, uh, in order before we can start uh, you know helping other people we need to help ourselves and get our, get our budget in order first it's just a financial issue in my, in my opinion Everybody does good work. You know, I appreciate all the work everybody does. But, you know. well, it passed. It passed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. <coughs> Corner. I still don't think any of this is right, not going by our list and spending the art money how, I mean, if we're going to spend it, we need to look at those applications and do it the right way. How we yeah. how we started. Uh, uh, this is getting off track. Does com commissioners have to approve that also? They already did. They already did. They sent it to us before they came to us oh, last time. Okay, yeah, that's. I just forgot. Mm -hmm. deal. We held up because we wanted to go to budget time, and then here they are again before budget time. Right. So. Yeah. Um, Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Speak to the coroner. He's requesting. <clears throat> 25000 for autopsy and transport fee. Uh, in the general fund, he has expended what he has there. 
So this will come from public safety. I've advertised it in public safety. Approved. I'll second. Eric motioned. Ab second. This is or you said public safety. Yes. To move 25000 from public safety to autopsy and transport fee line item in the coroner's budget. All in favor? The amount Six, there, right? 25000 25, In, no, I in mean, public safety, you're taking it from your operating in public safety. So I'll be creating a coroner budget in that fund and making it a, a line item for autopsy fees. So we're okay in the, that fund? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I got what you're saying. All right, we have veteran service officer transfer request. And, uh, she's requesting. <coughs> $200 from flags, $300 travel, $340 cell phone, and $51 um, from software to go into office supplies to one OOO. So $891. Is that right? Eight ninety one all together to two one zero 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 office supplies. Do you motion it or do you uh, Eric. Eric motion? I second. Raymond second. All in favor? Six zero. All right, lit special purpose additional preparation request. This is the three hundred thousand dollars that I spoke to you all in March of this year to uh, balance out general fund. So I'm asking that at least three hundred thousand be moved and the appropriations moved to. Special purpose to reduce general fund to what was approved by state board or by DLGF. Three hundred thousand. Yes. Do you have a motion? That fixes the twenty twenty two budget. Twenty twenty two. Move to approve. Second. Yeah. second. All in favor? Move three thousand to well, as as Teresa sees fit to even out our twenty twenty two budget. Twenty twenty two budget fix. All in favor? Let's get it fixed. Six zero. Thank you, Teresa. Mm -hmm. Boy, did time fly. We didn't even get when, a meeting in. When you're it. having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody read the meet the, the meetings. <laughs> yeah, I'm not an addition. Let me pass this around. Everything highlighted. Raymond corrected me because I did not have him ab I had him absent, but I didn't state that he was absent. Take a look at the highlight. That's why I just, changed since no. you guys, I sent a copy I just love, I just love to correct you. You just do, don't you? I mean, you're just like my husband and everybody else. <laughs> She's always correcting me. <laughs> yeah, there's only some people who can get away with that. Yeah. Raymond Jones was not present. <laughs> Didn't we know it? Is that That's what I asked. <laughs> and then if you guys are. If you don't move to approve them, then I'll run back there and put them in the book real quick before you leave. 
Yeah. Yeah. Any motion to approve? Uh, Do I have a second? Uh, you good with them? You want to you second good. it? I'm now good. that you're Raymond's, <laughs> now that you're now that you're absent. Oh, Raymond's not even. Well, I guess he could since he read them, but I'll second. All in favor? 6 0. -oh. All right, Teresa, anything else? Yes. Uh, the sheriff would like to. He's got a question. Okay. Real quick. Uh, Commissioner Guggen said that he gave me $15,000 to mow. He made a public post that he gave the sheriff's office $15,000 to mow. I'm wondering what account that you guys put that into. We could use that money to, you know, send you some stuff. Do you, I don't ever remember that happening, but he stated you, that. You remember that, Teresa? I remember Austin City and Scottsburg City. Yeah, they, they've got the contract off Putting those into a fund, but we didn't. 15000 yeah. to work with them. But the commissioner stated on a public post that he gave my office 15000 that commissioners would. And I don't, that didn't happen. I just wonder if something happened when I wasn't at a meeting. Do you all remember anything? I don't remember. I remember <coughs> we made, a, we created a line item for him for that. For the city's for Austin money, City and Scottsburg City. We have a separate fund and budget for the city's part. But for the no. and we okayed the contract for that. Right. Yeah. But I don't remember. Commissioner, you did. Commissioner said. No, I just want to confirm that. You see what I'm saying? Because that was a public statement that was made, well, and it we, was complete. Can we go try to figure out what meeting it might have been at? And you can ask him. Make sure. Yeah, you can ask him because uh, I don't recall it. As a matter of fact, I even submitted a bid uh, to all the county, do the county stuff, and they didn't even read my bid at the meeting. They wouldn't even read the sheriff's office bid. Well, I so, just want to make sure that if, if we did and it went into your one of the counts, yes, that, that you know which no. one and you're not $15,000 yeah. yes, over right. on one. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. So I'm not aware of appropriation that you all would have made for that, except for the city's part. So, I don't remember doing it. That's all I remember. But you can check and yeah. make sure just to. Yeah. I don't think you'll find anything, but if you do, please let me know. Yeah. Appreciate that. Okay. All right. Anybody else have anything? Not me. Uh, next month is starts our budget adoption hearing, so be prepared to stay a while after our next meeting. Business first, straight into you'll budget. Have, mm -hmm, you'll have. Uh, Are we going to be up here on Tuesday? Up here, or down. Probably. We'll do downstairs. Yeah. I think it'd be more comfortable uh, downstairs. A couple of things I want to mention that I want us to consider before we adopt the budget. And I'm telling you now so that you got some time to think about it. I'm going to propose that we eliminate salary subsidies uh, wherever they exist. And they exist in a few places. So I will be uh, I will be proposing that we eliminate uh, subsidies to uh, to, uh, to uh, salaries. Um, I want us to look at cell phone usage. I think uh, in lieu of a policy, cell phone, cell, <laughs> cell phone policy, uh, I will propose that we eliminate telephone subsidies. We don't have a policy. A uh, yeah, budget prepared just puts an amount in their budget, and if we approve it, which we do, then they pay whoever they want to. And we spend out $16,680 a year for uh, uh, cell phone stipends, and uh, we don't, uh, the commissioners have never adopted a policy, as far as I know. I, uh, I know the auditor has been questioned by State Board of Accounts on occasions where is your cell phone policy. We don't have one. Uh, and uh, 
So I'm going to uh, uh, request uh, that we eliminate that stipend until we have a cell phone policy <coughs> that, that tells us who, who gets uh, uh, cell phones and then we'll decide how much. So I'm going to propose that before we adopt the budget next, next uh, month. I'm also looking at travel, but I make no comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. i got a one-track mind today. Correction, they put a man So, uh, Madam Chairman, that's, that's all I've got. Is, it, is this what they get each time? Yeah, one of them. I will propose that next time. Sounds good, Raymond. Thank you. Anybody else have anything else? If you see my father out today, wish him happy birthday. He's 40. <laughs> 38, then. Yeah. All right. So we have a handout, cell phone, Who's stipends, 40? the people that get it. Her dad. My dad. Your dad? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she's only 18. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we had a cell phone stipend handed out today. Seems like there was more in that list. I'm sorry? I said there seems like there was more. There were more. Yeah. This well, list kind of seems little. I didn't know what we pay out. So do you guys yeah. look these up from the software? I didn't for a <laughs> 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 What is correction? Why is there 70? Why is there, why is there 70? Because it has to be PS on the phone. They have to increase it. Do you remember, Don, why we increased uh, corrections from 50 to 70 because of the GPS? I think so. And, and uh, well, no, I don't. So I don't remember. I know Dave, Dave, Dave did that. And I don't, I forgot the reasoning behind that. Yeah. All right. And I just wonder. I know both, uh, uh, I know Brian is gone. So you just get two over there is all you get. Mm -hmm. So Brian's gone, so we should probably just do it in Well, I know how everybody <coughs> doesn't yeah. like an extra meeting, but maybe if we can get the commissioners to come in while we're doing budget and talk to them about the art money. And get our list knocked down to after we see if the budget is good next year. Then we have the projects in place. That then we go down the list. As soon as we March comes, we know that the budget's great. That we don't need any of that money to to back it up. Then we go down the line and do the projects. That's my. So can you? Ask them which day they could meet with us and kind of go over the list. And like you said, we want to make sure all the money's spent, but we don't just want to fling it all out now. So are you wanting to do that during your three days that you're... Well, we can't get them any other time, so if they can come in one of those days. The, one of the three days, not the 11, 12, and 13. That Wednesday they should be coming in, so if we're still here... Say. They do the fifth and the nineteenth. We'll just shoot them an email and see if if they have a different day because I know they won't be here. Is it their first meeting in October? They won't be here. Is it this last this, this last Wednesday, one coming up? They're not here. Okay. This coming tomorrow. If we can get a meeting just to make sure the list and our numbers. So I'll ask them if they Because I've had a lot of people call and they, they think we're against all the projects, but we're not against the projects, we're just against, like Eric said, not having us covered first. All right, if you'll do that. Start we'll let an do I? We'll let be an open meeting. Do I? Will be an open meeting. It'll probably just be a workshop. I would just, speaking out loud, recommend that you reach out to all of them and have them all come in and 
speak to both of you in the the projects we are we already have that's what we sent out applications and people came in they talked to us told us about what projects they liked what what we needed done like as soon as art money came in mm -hmm. and then we started making a list okay. so it's it's in the works we've had a couple workshops on it but we need to finalize it and just make sure that we do have money where we need money all right do I have a motion to adjourn any motion to adjourn? Donnie stood up, so he seconded. Second. All in favor? All, six all in favor, get up and walk out. All right. <laughs>